these marshmallows have taken a really long time to cook. I've, I think I've been sitting here for a couple of hours now, actually. <laughs> it's not seem to be getting hot. Okay, I wonder if the meat is going to be good. Oh. Oh, but Christmas has come so fast. It's come really, really fast this yeah. year. And all this snow that we got everywhere, oh, it's getting cold. So much snow today. Yeah, loads of snow everywhere. So I hope it's going to come out nice. Yeah, well, at least Mr. Snowman's happy. He's, he's cold. Now, do you think he will last long here in this, uh, this I'm hot fire? I'm sure he'll be fine near the fire. Yep. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're in for a long night, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, I mean, there's so much going on right now, isn't there? There's a lot of events and lots of people trucking. I mean, it's a busy time for everyone. Is yours cooking? Uh, it's opening already. <laughs> Good, it works. Hmm. I don't want to burn it too badly. <laughs> Oh, hello everyone. How are we doing? Are we live? Oh, we yeah, I think we're ah. live. Oh. oh, we should probably put these down actually. Oh. Ah. I need to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can carry on finishing uh, that. Maybe fine. Mr. Snowman is going to help <laughs> a little bit. Well, welcome everybody to the stream. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic evening. Uh, as you can see, we're just enjoying the fire here in our lovely set here in the studio, looking very, very festive. Uh, we've got our festive equipment on, got my Christmas sweater on, we're wearing our little Christmas hats yeah. as well. I'm making full. Most of ourselves. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But it's the festive season, so you know it has to be done. It has to be done, and uh, we're we're so glad that you can come back with us again. And I hope you can enjoy the Christmas decorations that we have around us. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you've been waiting a little while, you should see that our stick, Mr. Chenda, is uh, driving. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit of his driving. Uh, but we've got lots planned for today. There's gonna be lots of surprises. We have a, a lot of good things planned. What else are we gonna be talking to that today, Pavel? Uh, well, I think we should cover whatever we've been doing so far, whatever, what's on right now. Mm -hmm. And we may do some hinting about things coming up later on. And we have a lot of presents here. We do so. have a lot of presents, yeah. Look at that, they've been so. delivered. I'm not sure by who, who delivered them. Maybe the snowman brought them with him. But uh, we have lots and lots of gifts here that we have to open. I think we're going to open on the stream today, right? Uh, yeah, well, we'll get to it, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. And also, not just that, but I believe that we're doing some giveaways as well, right? I think we've got some keys to give away, if that's yeah, correct. Yeah, well, I believe the guys have a bunch of keys that we can just uh, show quickly. Yeah. And the fastest uh, person to, to grab them will be a lucky owner of a new DLC. Absolutely, yeah. So we've got plenty of DLCs to give away, uh, as well as some that are popping up on screen. Maybe there might be a few more to give away as well. But maybe we should start talking by the Steam Awards. Maybe that'll be a good place to start, do you think? Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, sounds good. If you want to go ahead and talk about the Steam Awards. Uh, well, now we understand what's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After a day uh, on Steam, it looks like a lot of people are uh, supporting us. We got so many tweets, so many messages, so many emails, people confirming their support. So keep them coming. Mm. Thank you very much for, for all your support. Uh, it's an interesting battle, uh, as always, and in nominations with so many great games appearing. But we'll see what happens. Maybe we win, maybe we do not. It's a special moment any, anyway. Just being nominated shows the power of the community and, and the support of the community. Mm -hmm. So we are totally delighted, as it is already. We just don't want to give up without struggle, without fight. So we try to <laughs> uh, engage uh, uh, the, the community, we try to to bring you in, involve you, and luckily we, we see that it's happening, it's, it's succeeding. Absolutely, it's a very exciting time, and uh, we've been nominated for the most fun with the machine, which I think is a very appropriate category for your Truck Simulator 2. So if you wanted to go vote, I guess you can go over to the Steam page, and they have their lovely event happening there, as well as the Steam Awards, big nomination, you can't miss it, I think it's right on the front page there, and it says, you know, vote for the Steam Awards, and you can find us underneath that category. So if you feel we deserve it, and you feel like, hey, I've had a lot of fun with this machine, a lot of fun with the trucks, as we can see here on the screen, then go and give us a vote. You can go vote for us there. I believe voting ends at the end of the Steam sale, if that's correct. Yeah, like Which January 3rd or so. About January, yeah, absolutely. So definitely go get out of there. I know a lot of you have already voted, so thank you so much for those who have already supported us and sent us in across the social media. Um, also today, of course, being joined by Pavel is always a privilege. So if you do want to send in any questions at all, 
You can do that through our uh, Steam stream page as you're watching live from now or on our Twitch as well. We have our wonderful production team behind the scenes who are also uh, looking after you there, who are looking out for your questions. And we also have our wonderful driver who's uh, driving the Stig, who'll be keeping us occupied with lots of driving and also keeping us with all the graphics on screen here as well. So lots to come for today's stream, lots of exciting things. We're gonna be opening up some gifts. We're gonna to continue to cook our sausage, it seems as well. Just maybe we'll have a little nibble of that later as well. Um, so let's go on to the next thing. Of course, the big thing, as is appropriately themed, the Christmas event, right? That's happening right now. We hit 500,000 deliveries today, is that correct? Yeah, that's an incredible number already after a couple of days. And people may have noticed that little, little tree that's uh, appearing as yeah. a kind of achievement of the milestone is, has changed. Mm -hmm. And there is a second version of it that's looking slightly better than the initial uh, version. So people may extrapolate that things are only going to get somewhat <laughs> more interesting over the next couple of milestones. So we'll see what happens. But uh, the progress is great. And uh, we were absolutely not expecting to be this far into the event uh, this early ahead of the Christmas Day. So great, great job. Absolutely, yeah. We've seen a huge response again across all of our social media, on our Twitters, our Facebook. You've been sending in all of your images across and showing us how much you are really enjoying trucking right now. Ah, we have. Oh, what's, what's coming? this? Thanks, Namiro. Oh, wow, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I guess that's more fuel for the fire, so yeah. hopefully that will be cooked very, very soon. Yeah. That will be fantastic. But yeah, you've been showing us across all of the social media, and it's been just a fantastic response. So make sure if you do want to go check out the event, you want to go for a drive and help the North Pole out again like we do every year. It seems like they're always needing our help of, you know, you fantastic drivers. Then you can get out there on the roads. I believe you have to complete 12 deliveries on either European continent on Utrecht Simulator 2 or in America on American Truck Simulator. And you'll be hauling Christmas cargoes uh, as demonstrated here. You have some wonderful trailers and Christmas cargoes to deliver across both of those continents. And you get lots of great little gifts, as you said, the trees. But as well as that, you have the backgrounds um, and you have also some other hanging accessories as well that you can decorate your truck with, as well as some paint uh, truck and trailer jobs as well, which I think are all very fantastic looking, very, very festive uh, spirited. And speaking of uh, festivities, we actually have a question coming in from me, Toxie, saying, how are you guys doing for the holiday spirits in full force? So how are you enjoying Christmas? Do you have any plans <laughs> for Christmas? Or <laughs> uh, People can imagine that the company as a whole was very, very busy uh, coming towards Christmas. We had this death march of DLCs to release, <laughs> which was great. It was, we succeeded, we, we made it, the, the team survived. So that alone was keep, uh, keeping us busy. Then we knew that we would be uh, creating this Christmas event again. So the, the events team had to prepare the database, the, the rewards, uh, set up all these promotional activities like this foolish stream. So we are keeping ourselves busy. A bunch of people are his, is staying around on Friday evening here in the office just to keep you entertained. <laughs> so busy until the very last, very last moment. Now hopefully uh, we'll slow down, we'll recharge the batteries over the next couple of days and we'll be back with you next year mm -hmm. in January, of course. A lot to look forward to then. And for the future, actually, another question is coming in from our chat uh, asking, could you improve the amount of water truck events? So will we be seeing more in the future? Well, we would love to do it. It's, it's quite an effort that it's, it's a difficult uh, choice or the balance. Uh, we need to keep the things balanced because essentially uh, the same team that's working on uh, World of Trucks development is also heavily involved, inevitably heavily involved in creating the events. So any event is kind of slowing us down on preparing the, the big game that we are <laughs> creating within World of Trucks. So we try to balance things out. We managed to do six events this year. We'd be really happy to, to uh, match or beat it, but uh, we're not yet at the stage where we could do one after another, just, just, just uh, shooting them out. We would, be, we would love to. I think that they will come when we'll have quests on World of Trucks where people can even revisit, revisit older events and mm -hmm. uh, retry some of the older challenges where it makes sense. For now, we'd be just happy to, to stick to the pace that we established and maybe slightly improved on it so that the team is still available for pushing forward with new features on World of Trucks. And that's very important because so far, what we have on World of Trucks is essentially just a sampling of the future ambition. Of course, yeah, lots to look forward to then. Lots to look forward to indeed. 
Um, so, what do you say? Do you think we should get unwrapping maybe our first gift? Yeah, I just need to handle this somehow so it doesn't get too burnt. But yeah, no we'll worries. <laughs> Maybe I'll figure out something. Okay, sounds to good. We'll it. leave it there just okay. to, to keep it then. Sounds good, sounds good. All right. So I'm going to give you the honors of opening the first gift. Is that okay? Okay. okay. Pick a random one because well, okay. we don't know what's inside. We don't. We have no <laughs> idea. We have absolutely no idea what's inside these gifts. So we're going to open one of them and we'll just see, we'll just see what happens. Ooh, which one should we go for here? Should we go for this one here? Oh, that's, that's a very nice one. It is a very nice. Look at that. Very lovely and wrapped. All lovely. Got a bit of snow on there as well. We should probably... Maybe blow that off. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so now we'll see if we can even wonder open what it, it could be. Okay. okay. Chris. Oh, well, a bit of mess side. here. Yep. <laughs> so it's slightly heavy. I think I know now. Oh, okay. I think. What is this? It's a slight remi reminder that we actually have merchandise available. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is not such a surprise, actually. This is something that that uh, we have freely uh, demonstrated repeatedly that SCS Software has tried to, to experiment with merchandise mm -hmm. on our eShop. So we are we are happy to offer this to people, but I'm not such a good seller of, of cups. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you very much. But I think we have cooler, actually, uh, gifts. All right, well, that's perfect for anyone for us. That, who wants a lovely little hot chocolate in it or anything, perfect for your morning cup of coffee. You know, they do have those mugs available on the store. I think it's eshop.scssoft.com. Wonderful variety of clothes there and different accessories for any trucker that can enjoy. And I think they've even got some special editions of the game there, like the American Truck Enchanted Edition. Mm -hmm. And that comes with some very, very cool accessories in there. What do you think? Do you think we should open up another present, possibly? Or mm, Yeah, let's, let's move on. Let's, let's, let's see let's what move. happens. We'll open up one more. I'm just going to leave this by the fire as well, so we can roast that a little bit. And we'll grab one more present. Let's grab this one here. Get the snow off. There we go. And I'll open this one. Let's have a look here. Your turn. Okay. Okay. Oh, it seems, wow, look at this. I think we got something very special inside. Maybe if I display one and you can display one. Okay. So, oh, we got, we got them on both sides. <laughs> okay, so we're going to hold this up to the camera. So this is not a gift for us. This, this is, is not a gift, gift for, for you. Us. Yeah, it's a gift for, for everyone in the chat, if everyone's ready for this. Here we go. We've got the first one here. It looks like it's for American Truck Simulator Oregon. I think we've got a couple of codes of these. If people you can got still that? read this. I think they can read that. And we're going to give it a switch around. How are we looking there? Hopefully people got that. There's the wonderful code there. So I understand it's a, it's a Steam code that the first lucky person who manages to type it in will uh, activate the, the, the DLC. All right. But if you are the second or third or 56th in the, row, in the line, too bad, because once, <laughs> once the first person once grabs it, it's, it's taken, it's gone. And some people are quick. I've seen some people on the keyboard, they can be very, very quick. And I think there's another, another couple in there, so maybe if you wanted to hold that one up to the camera as well, okay. we'll pass okay. it over your way. I don't know which camera will be taking it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe possibly this one, I think, with the close-up here. Okay, let's, let's see. Is it... We'll put that down there. There we go. <laughs> so there so we have it. For anyone that doesn't own American Truck Simulator Oregon, the expansion, Now's your chance. Okay. Get typing on that. So we're actually bribing people watching us on the stream <laughs> to stay connected. <laughs> okay, but that's, it's Christmas. We, that's it. we have to give people something. And I think this side is actually for Beyond the Baltic Sea here. So if you haven't got a chance of you know, owning that yet, that wonderful map expansion which we've released recently, now's your chance again. Hopefully we'll get some quick typers in the chat. Um, I wonder if really people can read all these small letters. But <laughs> I'm sure they're they going to figure it out it. for sure. <laughs> Okay. okay, so that was a gift not for us, but for you. Absolutely, yeah. So there'll be plenty of all those coming throughout the stream, I think. There'll be some that are appearing on screen, some in the presence, just like that. We have, like we said earlier, we have gifts for you, and there's some gifts for, from us, and there's going to be lots of different surprises happening as well. Now, we have an interesting question coming in. Someone thinks they're very, very optimistic about the World of Trucks event. 
they're asking, what if the community delivers, I think this is like a million or 10 million transports. Million, million, I would, I, would uh, I think oh, like, <laughs> uh, it could be 10 million there. I'm not sure how many zeros he's put, but definitely a lot of transports, a okay. uh, million. What happens? Well, we were not quite sure where to set the goal. So we thought, okay, for the community goal, uh, for giving people these cool rewards, let's set a million as a really ambitious goal. But mm -hmm. what if people are faster or <coughs> more willing to, to go beyond that's, that uh, milestone? So <coughs> as people have already noticed, we uh, count always up to a quarter million and then something happens. A new milestone is reached and something unlocks. Mm -hmm. So we made uh, progression of little rewards that can even go beyond a million and we'll see how far people can get. And that's also the reason why the, the uh, status of the, of the event looks a little convoluted or a little hard to understand at first glance because there's this million, one million goal at the same time, the, the line fills up up to a quarter million. So there is a connection, there's, a lo there's some logic behind it and this is that we have a multiple of these milestones along the road, even somewhat beyond a mile, uh, one million. All right, wonderful. To and keep uh, people engaged and entertained. Absolutely, and we, we don't know how far it's gonna go. I think it's gonna be a surprise for everyone, really. I mean, we've already seen such an amazing response again, as we mentioned earlier, fantastic. It's just so cool to see how fast that counter goes up. And we're already for over 500,000. But you know, if we, what happens if we go even further, I think it's gonna be a surprise for everybody. So we will see what happens and what the outcome is there. Uh, now, somebody asking about, maybe a little bit more about into the future, uh, asking, will electric trucks like the Tesla Semi eventually come into the game? Because that's a very smart truck, isn't it? It's almost like there's yeah. no dashboard or anything in it. <laughs> yeah. uh, we, we try to talk to anybody in the industry. It's not just Tesla. There's more unique or ra rather uh, innovative uh, solutions appearing in like ex being explored, they are not yet really truly uh, employed in, in mass um, numbers. So we tried to talk to Tesla. Initially, the, we, we even got some response, but uh, we haven't got very far yet. So this is something that we need to pursue in the long run. And of course, if these vehicles seem to get a foothold in the industry, they are definitely on our wish list. They are definitely something we would like to explore. Mm -hmm. It will be interesting for people to compare the various pros and cons of the different solutions. So we are definitely looking at this and we'll just see how far, how fast we can get with, with pursuing with the companies that create these beautiful new vehicles. Oh, wonderful, yeah, no. And I think like we mentioned yesterday in uh, yesterday's stream, there's just such a, a broad amount of you know, different truck manufacturers out there who keep on bringing out so many different trucks. It's almost hard to keep up, isn't it, sometimes um, with the amount that's happening out there and all these different technologies that are coming into play as well. Trucks are getting a little bit smarter every day. Yeah, but honestly, first we have to cover what we still owe to our players, which is the current fleet that's out there on the roads. Mm -hmm. All the brands, all the manufacturers, all the, all the trucks that are important. So that's our focus now. That's the focus for the next year, for the next years to really catch up, to, to uh, transform any license or any, any agreement that we have so far managed to, to reach into an actual vehicle on the virtual roads in the game. So this is the focus and we may even hint about it later on. So. All right, wonderful. Lots to look forward to then. Um, Dylan H30 uh, asking again about the future. Are you up to tease or tell us what the next ATS state is? Uh, we'll tease, <laughs> we'll hint. <laughs> uh, I believe one of the parcels here, one of the packages here, has some, uh, or maybe more of them, have some hints that people may uh, kind of think about and speculate. So the plan is to tease you still this side of, of the New Year's Eve. Of course, next year we'll start more than teasing, we'll start revealing, we'll start showing. But for the 2018, we'll still we still prefer for you to focus on what we have on offer, All what right. we have brought you very recently. And then we let the community speculate and look forward to whatever they create. I think it's, there are so many smart people out there that they will be able to figure out a lot from the hints. All right, wonderful. Well, speaking of that then, should we open up one more present? Give it a try. Should we go for it? Okay, I'm gonna grab the one that's just sitting under here without knocking over the tree. And then I'll give you the pleasure of opening up this one again. Okay, thank you. There you, you are. So much snow. So much snow everywhere today. It's, it's an insane amount of snow. 
It's been packaged so well that I may have trouble getting inside. <laughs> Fortunately, I have a knife. <laughs> Wonder what this one could be. Hmm. Interesting okay. shape. It's not, it's not a book, it's some kind of box. Oh. Okay. Okay, so this is again a gift for us or a reminder that we are not forgetting New Mexico, the previous DLC for American Truck Simulator. Okay. This is actually a special edition of the game that we created for the opportunity with a, Wonderful. with a little truck inside. So if people are still looking for a physical presence, not just a digital one, mm -hmm. this is something that's still out there on store shelves as well as available on our on our uh, eShop for people to grab alongside any merchandise. There you go. Wonderful. And it, it looks lovely with all the different artwork on there. And I think it's just, it is nice to have something physical sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. a lot of people do enjoy that. It's the Enchanted Edition because, as people may know, New Mexico is the state of en uh, enchantment. Oh, right, okay. So, so we just played along and created this, this special thing. Okay, wonderful. That's good. I'll have that displayed up there then. Oh, oh, I should really <laughs> roast it as well. Almost roasted it. Okay, <laughs> okay we'll move on to, uh, to another question then from our community. Uh, SBN91 asking, is trailer tuning pack in the make for both games? Please and thank you. Trailer tuning. Uh, well, uh, we do have uh, one of the contacts that we have with uh, aftermarket specialist companies is offering some extras for both the tractor as well as the trailer. So we are looking into it. It's not like it's in development at the moment, but it's being discussed because we know that once you, once you open the opportunities for the possibilities, you are in, in it. So, so uh, at some point, more tuning will definitely become available. It's just not in immediate production. It's, it's something that's being explored. Okay, all right, wonderful. And, um, with, uh, I know a lot of people out there love customizing their trucks. With, I mean, I think it's been discussed before that it's actually one of the things that maybe bring people into the game a little bit. You know, there's, there's so many different factors to ha how people play your truck simulator to American truck. You know, some people enjoy it for like, the Zen gaming aspect and some the people, exploration. Yeah, and some people enjoy it for the business part of it, but then there's the people that enjoy the customizations. And I think I've seen a lot of people who love to customize their trucks, you know, with a lot of lights. A lot but of for, lights. for a lot of folks, the, the idea that you own something, even if it's virtual and that you can tailor it to your preference mm -hmm. or to your style is very important. So we understood that trailer ownership should come along with tuning up to options. So uh, just as we started with trucks at a certain level and pushed deeper over the years, this is inevitably coming for anything in the game, including trailers. All right, wonderful. And speaking uh, of trailers, somebody asking, um, will we release the event paint jobs in game? So I'm assuming those are the ones from the Christmas event, as we can see here driving on the screen, the ones that have been created especially. Could we see those in game in the future? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure what the plan is. I'm not involved in detail of everything. Uh, of course, once we created them, we don't want to just forget about them forever. So at some, in some form, in some way, eventually, they will find their way into the game. I'm just not sure they're just going to pop into the game after the event is over. I think there may be some longer plan with them, but we wouldn't abandon them because it, they're, they're cool. So people should be able to uh, and get some fun with them again at some point. All right, wonderful. And we'll do another question coming from Peter saying, is there a chance that we will see two new states in American Truck Simulator in 2019? Interesting. Well, the, the whole plan of growing the company, grow, improving the, the capacity with so many new people here is to be able to do things faster than we ever did. So we hope that some, some good news are on the horizon. We'll hint about some things on the horizon. Uh, uh, things may still you know, change. Uh, game development is always uh, working with a lot of variables, a lot of unknowns, mm -hmm. and we prefer to do things right before we do them quick. So there's this ambition, there is this desire, there is this plan, but uh, Let's hint about it later with opening more of the parcels. Okay, okay. So should we get on to that? Should we open up another one, I think? Let's give it a try. Let's give it a go. I'm going to grab this one from behind the tree here. There we go. And actually, there's a, there's a tag on this one. It does say that it's come from... I can't actually pronounce that, but it says it's from Dracula. 
I'm not sure what the top bit says there. Maybe it's one of the hints? Maybe it's a hint. Let's rack at that. What's inside? Well, let's turn. open it. Let's have an open. So we'll open this here. Okay. It looks like it's in some wrap in here. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. This little fella. I think it's meant to be like a, a bat. Like a... Hmm. Maybe it's like blood sucking. <laughs> beast. Maybe they're going to come haunt but you in the truck. It's so, <laughs> so cute. It is very cute. So it's a little cute vampire, right? Yeah. Nothing what, I wonder what the hint is supposed to be. Me from that. Oh, from no idea, really. Yeah, interesting. He is very cute. Lovely little bat there. Okay, interesting, interesting. Maybe we should place him somewhere. Where do you think he should go? Uh, he shouldn't have problem with fire and darkness, so maybe... Maybe down here? Let's roast him too. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We'll leave him there. I'm sure he'll be happy there. Okay. And what do you think? One more, or should we save that for a little bit later? Uh, let's push on. Let's, let's see what, what... Okay. I'm going to grab I'm, this. I'm curious. I'm the large one here. Do you think you can handle this one? There we go. I'll give this one to you. Okay, thank you. There you are. What could it be? Look at that. It's quite a large <laughs> gift. So much snow. <laughs> okay. Is that this cardboard box? Okay. Inside. All right, get inside. Oh wow, this is Oh my goodness. This is an actual present that we received. I know I know these people. So this is not a hint, this is not a marketing ploy. This is an actual gift that SCS team received from Oops. our friends. Wait, can you hold it for me? Yeah, absolutely. This is a, this is a gift we received from our friends uh, in Slovakia. Look at that. The team that's helping us create all the great content for our games. So. This is a team. <laughs> the faces of the team on the vehicle. Wonderful. And this is actually an RC, RC model. So I'm not sure. Moves around. Have we got batteries? I don't in? know if there's any batteries inside because it, it just came in. So maybe they're keeping it safe. Okay. Uh, no, I don't no, know how to operate like it, it, but we'll have some good time with it, I'm sure, <laughs> once we get it up and running. Absolutely. I imagine it'll be driving around the office for sure. I don't want to put it into the snow so that it doesn't get too, too cold. Yep. But it's cool. It's really great. Uh, it's where really do we cool. put it so that it's Ooh, so where can cool? We put it? Maybe you can it's put so it over... Cool. Uh, Maybe into the snow. You know what? Somebody's <laughs> going to clean the mess eventually. There we go. We'll just leave so, it down there. Okay. Bit of snow truck in there. Perfect. I'll leave this next to it here. Okay, wonderful. We'll leave a, a couple more for later mm -hmm. and we'll go on to some more questions. Remember, if you do want to get your questions in, you can head over to either one of the stream chats there and you can post your questions to at SES Software either in Steam or in our Twitch TV. It's great to have you with us if you're just joining us. Having a little bit of a festive fun here. As you can see, we've decorated the studio, lots of snow everywhere. We've got a, a beautiful, warm roasting fire. We're cooking our, and some marshmallows and a bit of sausage there as well. And uh, we're answering your questions as well as I'm opening some gifts, which may be hinting at some things in the future. It's all very exciting, of course, coming to the end of the year. And there's also a lot going on. We'll talk maybe a little bit later on about the Baltic Film Contest as well as the Cozy College event, maybe after these couple of questions. And our first question is coming in from Storm517, uh, asking, uh, are we going to get more trailer brands like Schmitz, uh, Kogel, or so on? Well, on this year's IAA, the big tr transportation industry show in Germany, mm -hmm. we tried to approach quite a few companies and we have some promising early contacts. We've been doing this for a couple of years, but until we had this like case study with Schwarzmiller and Krone, uh, our uh, chances were limited. Now we feel more uh, confident about it. So we're definitely looking into more trailer packs. We would love to cover as much of the industry as possible because people have different preferences uh, depending on you know whatever their father is driving or <laughs> whatever they have driven when they were younger. Or whatever, they, whatever they are currently using uh, in the, as a real-life drivers. So we're definitely looking into more trailer packs in the future. All right, wonderful. And uh, another question coming in here from uh, Stevie P. Oh, Stevie P. O. Four, sorry, uh, saying, could you add something like extreme DLC, where there are massive engines and massive trailers, like an unrealistic DLC in a sense? Unrealistic. We're we're not trying to get into the world of science fiction or world of like trucking fantasy. We are trying to first and foremost 
cover the reality as closely as possible. So if something like that ever happens, it will take us a while until <laughs> we have basically exploited every every little bit of reality. Uh, so really, this is this is something that I'm not really any uh, ready in any way to commit to until we do all these. You know, so many tracks that we are owing to people, so many trailers that people would like to see, so many tuning opportunities, so many parts of the world to cover still. And there is all these things high on the wish lists you know, that we'll have to get to over the years, whether it's seasons, whether it's multiplayer. So, so a lot of things still need to happen first before we go that far. Of course, yeah. And uh, again, it's very exciting for the future. And we have another question coming in from Haramia25 saying, will we see varied license plates within one country, like for example, a Russian one in Germany? Well, uh, the deeper we try, the, the more people ask for the... Uh, we, we, are, we have reached a certain stage uh, with the license plates where we're not looking that shabby, we're looking reasonably uh, believable. But we know that in the, each region, like in France, each state department has different kind of letters on, on the on the license plate and the same goes for russia and we know that people already noticed and complained that the police in this region is using this combination and not that combination so there's always an opportunity for to improve for us we'll, we'll be uh, collecting the references collecting the feedback on what we've done and looking into ways to improve it uh, to, in some ways it's a little surprising for our team that people are that obsessed about a little detail in the game, but that that's just shows how engaged people are with the game. They want everything to be a simulation, a perfection in, in, in the simulation. So we know that we need to improve every aspect of the game, including license plate. So it's definitely not something that we'll be ignoring. It's something that we'll continually look into and improve. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think, do you smell that? Do you think, oh, I think, um, we might be burning our marshmallows oh, and sausage yeah. a bit. We need to oh. get a fire there. Look oh. at that. It's, a little <laughs> it's, it's not black yet. It's, it's I think I've, I've burnt mine one <laughs> just a little bit on the side there. Oh, no. So oh, I'm good. not sure. I mean, is it oh. worth trying to, to have a bite? I'm not too sure. Or maybe I've put that over too much. It's, it's uh, still hot. I, I still I think I need to let it get cooler a little let bit. Let it get cooled down a bit. All right, I'm going to put mine just up, pop it on this wood here. And there you go. They're cooked now. <sighs> See, that fire really does work. Looking I knew it was a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Hey, good stuff. We can enjoy those a little bit later once they've cooled down. Um, another question coming in from Twitch, uh, Premio Speedy 2000 uh, asking how it is with Russian trucks. I would like to see some Kamaz trucks in the future. Well, we know that Kamaz is really strong in their home country. Mm -hmm. They don't venture that far uh, west as, as where we have been historically with the game, but we are getting closer and we are not yet finished. Uh, covering with our ambition going further east. So hopefully at some point in the future, once we look into getting closer to the heart of Russia, we, we would be uh, by that point in time in good contact and, and having established ties with, with Kamas manufacturer. So this is something that we will definitely explore that we would love to do at the, with proper timing. So uh, I cannot promise anything yet because we haven't really signed any deal or anything to that uh, in that regard but this is something we'll definitely love to do for the players in russia to, to enjoy their own home manufacturing <laughs> wonderful peoples. wonderful yeah and i think there's a lot of people that are passionate to see their own kind of home country's truck in their games which i think goes for the same for a lot of people whether that's in, in america or in your truck and you know it's something to we can always thinking about and looking forward to in the future um so we're going to take just a little minute maybe to talk about steam's cozy cottage event Mm -hmm. um, I think right now what's happening with that is there's an advent calendar, is that correct? Yeah, well, these little windows that pop up every day, if you click on them. So far, I've managed to open one window, <laughs> just as anybody, I guess. Uh, what we know, and because we have been actually involved with planning, we've been approached by Valve, we have provided one in-cabin item for Real Truck Simulator 2 as one of the nominees of Steam Awards mm -hmm. for, for the calendar. So we don't know which day, or we don't know, you know, how it's really going to, you know, be presented by Valve. But at some point in in the calendar opening, uh, one of the windows when it pops up will reveal uh, inventory item or cabin decoration item for your Jackson Meter Two, 
uh, something related to uh, to the theme of the of the Christmas event, a ginger house, ginger cabin sort of yeah. thing <laughs> <laughs> that I hope people will love to use. But I, I don't even know if, it, if it's going to pop up for just for owners of the game or if it's going to pop up just for anybody by random mm -hmm. and then people have to you know, uh, go to the market and maybe trade it for something else. So I'm curious what's happened, what happens. We just know that we've supplied, we provided a piece of content for the game just to keep the flow of cool stuff popping out of those windows happening. Wonderful, yeah, so it's almost like a, an advent calendar and I think, yeah, like you said, it was every day you can open up a different window um, and I believe the event actually runs to January and when I looked on the Steam page it says if you miss a window then don't worry about it because you can open the windows from the days previous uh, in, in the future. Yeah, so I there's think they don't want to frustrate out. people to keep them, you know, stressed out. I need to log in every day just to make sure I don't miss anything so they make it easier, they are not making any, anything stressful there, they just want people to have Good time. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, there's no excuse really, is there? Really, you got some free items there coming your way. Uh, not only from us, but I imagine a lot of other developers have gotten involved as well. And of course, we have the Steam Awards there, which we discussed. If you really feel that we deserve a nomination, then you can go vote for Euro Truck Simulator 2 on the SCS Steam page there. And we're under the nomination of the most fun with a machine. Uh, but as well as all of that as well, um, we also have Steam Sale that's happening right now in, in, in alongside with the Cozy Cottage event. And I believe there's a few items or quite a, lot, uh, quite a lot of items from us that are on sale. Yeah, we have uh, tried to be nice to our players. So, <laughs> so we have joined in with the massive sale that's happening on Steam. And uh, we have uh, discounted, especially the older content, the older the games, the, the core games, as well as the older DLCs, have quite deep discounts. The newer stuff, we don't want to upset people who just recently grabbed it. So the newer stuff is not discounted that much or the newest stuff cannot even be discounted by principle because Valve doesn't allow for it. So people maybe should be able to collect uh, what complement their library, complement their, their selection of content for the games if they wish so. And we'll be happy if it happens. We'll be just fine if people just use the core game and enjoy the core functionality of the game. That's fine too. So the, the, the opportunities are out there to just uh, for people to consider. Wonderful, yeah. So if you're looking for anything missing from your collection or if you're just looking to add some maybe new paint jobs to make your truck make that look a little bit cooler as you're trucking through, you know, the Baltics or, you know, through France, then lots of great stuff on sale there for the Christmas and you can add that to your collection and to, well, just enjoy trucking. I think that's the main thing that a lot of people want to do this Christmas. Uh, right, should we go on to another gift? I think we should open up another gift. I think it's time to grab one from underneath the tree. Let's have a look at this one here. There we go. It's another big one. Okay. There we go. Get some snow on me as well. So I'll open up the lid here. I'll, I'll put it down. We'll have a take a look what's inside. Okay. What have we got here? I think we've got some t-shirts to maybe display, it looks like here. Maybe I'll, I'll hand a couple to you. There we are. I think they're t-shirts. Uh, t-shirts. So I guess that's that's the part of the team here, as well as a, another reminder. <laughs> you know, I feel like we're doing some sleazy marketing here, but <laughs> it's just a reminder that really we do have merchandise for people to consider. So maybe we should look at those T-shirts. Yeah, so, should we? So people have see. A open them up. Got a, a lovely pink one here. A lot of people in the company. Actually, these these T-shirts have been created because of the internal push in the company. People want to have some cool stuff to wear around. So a lot of people just walk around all day wearing some of these cool t-shirts. So this is a uh, Raven, which is related to one of the early DLCs that we had as a, one of the re rewards for earlier events. So it's, while well, you have something, maybe. Yeah, I have, um, it's a pink t-shirt. It seems what happened. Looks like Trucker Sam on there again. Yeah, one of I, our I mascots. think it's the same guy taking different forms and shapes. Mm. <laughs> Looking very majestic on a pink t-shirt there. <laughs> there you go, wonderful. So you can again go check those out at our eShop. The wonderful range of, of different clothing there that you can go check out. Okay, one more. Advertisement kind of thing. Okay, so we try different concepts, different things. I'm sure the team will create some new, fresh ideas for more merchandise in the coming year and years. Mm. So sometimes and quite often when we go to, uh, to a new place with our sim trailer, 
uh, and we have these great loyal fans appearing and showing us how many thousands of hours they are joining through the games. We, we like to, to make them happy and give them a little bit of merchandise, a t-shirt or a cap or, or, or something cool. So now we have more on our, uh, in our arsenal, on our merchandise shop to give cool stuff <laughs> to the fans that to go and show up on, on the events. And of course, if people are ready to spend a little bit of money, we have this all on offer on our eShop. Wonderful. Right, well, let's, let's grab another. We'll grab this one that's just down here. Okay. Let's have a look what's inside. I'll let you open up this one here. Okay, my turn. There you go. It's very light. Oh, I guess it's a hint one. Ooh. It's a one with a hint. Let's have a and look here. I think this is actually some paper a, bill, a like money a bill. A dollar bill? A dollar Where's, bill. What country is it I wonder, I wonder whose face is on one dollar bill. Hmm. Is it a hint? Do you think we'll get a lot of money from that from the exchange? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so, so I think this is actually supposed to be a hint of things to come in one of the games. Hmm. Uh, let's see, Washington. Oh, some guy. Some okay. guy. Some very yeah. important guy in yeah, the history of the country. Saying, yeah. I think so maybe he was one of the it's presidents. not just some guy. It's actually the guy. <laughs> the guy. Hmm. Interesting. Well, there you go. Well, we'll go back to some questions from our, our Twitch chat. Who I can see the chat's scrolling very, very fast. There's so lots of you asking questions. Uh, the classic thirty six asking: Is there anything that can be shared about the coach sim or DLC? Well, this is going to haunt us <laughs> again and again. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how, how deep I should go into the topic. Actually, sh uh, a short time after the release of Euro Truck Simulator 2, we were thinking that the game, that the game can never recoup the costs of development. So we thought, how do we recover the cost of creating this world, this very expensive to build world? And we thought maybe uh, adding uh, buses into the simulation would be an opportunity to get some more money out of our loyal customers. So we started working on the concept. We had some early drafts or early experiments. But then the success of Euro Truck Simulator 2 and later American Truck Simulator has totally swept any, any plans to go wide to the side. So, so we, this concept is kind of uh, on a back burner. It's, it's waiting. We do s some development in parallel to our core focus of trucks. There is some guys working on animations for passengers. There are some guys working on uh, the, the plans for the, the stops along the route. So it's a, pro it's a, it's a project that has been long, long in development on a very small capacity level. It's just a literally tiny Skunk Works team mm. working on it. But it's never been put into like sizable production because ultimately we would need to create multiple vehicles do a lot of alterations to the world, do a lot of changes to the UI. So it's something that we are not giving up on, but at the same time, this is not something that we, we have fully committed to. So it's in this kind of zombie state in the middle of it. And we just need to make sure that we don't totally ignore it. We just want to keep improving uh, uh, the building blocks that will eventually make it up uh, to turn it into actual product. So no promises that we're just a little assurance that we are not totally abandoning the concept. It's just that it's going to take us a while to squeeze it in. We, amid all the growth in the company, we're still hoping that one, at one point it's going to be so easy to just grab 10, 15 people, just uh, them employ on them on a, on a particular project. So far, anybody we ha hire, we just throw them into the midst of developing either American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2, because we feel that for the players out there, these are the crucial commitments that we should make, that we mm. shouldn't just spread too thin and go all different various di directions before we really show that we can quicken the progress on the core games. But once we establish that, once the, the, all the new people and some more people coming will be really as productive as we wish, then we can look into these side projects and improvements and like encroaching over different types of vehicles because the, the world is huge the sandbox is there, it's just populating it with more cool stuff. And that's the vision, that's the long-term plan. Okay, okay, very interesting then. Um, another question coming from Turbo the Game Geek, asking, will you ever add military trucks or cargo loads into the game? 
Well, we try to stay away from, from anything that's maybe perceived as controversial. And uh, any time anytime you touch military stuff, you, you get some people happy and some people unhappy. And so this is something that we may look into, but we're definitely not uh, like having it in production or planning. It's just, this is something that we feel is sensitive and that maybe the mothers do a great job of covering their different likes and, and, and dreams. But for us, the core aspect of the game is actually industry. So we would like to cover more industries. We would like to have these chains that make sense in, in the real world, like you start with the raw material and you over a progression of, of transits to different kind of manufacturing plants or processing facilities, you tune it, you, re, re, you transform it into the ultimate Ult product. Yeah, so cool. that's, that's the focus for now. Military is not that well, kind of priority, that much of a priority for us. Got you, but still lots of good things to look forward to in the future then. Um, and we actually have almost what it seems like a compliment coming in, uh, asking about your World of Trucks t-shirt that you're wearing. They're saying, are you going to offer the World of Trucks t-shirt on your eShop in the future? Merry Christmas. Well, thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas <laughs> to you. Have we forgotten to, to use me? I think this was created a couple of years ago and we may still have them in somewhere in, in storage for the moment when World of Trucks transforms itself from these baby steps that we still have there into a full service or full meta game on top of the core games. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should really uh, remember that we have it in storage and, and bring it up to, to the store. Okay, thanks for the good tip. There you go, there we go. Right, should we move on to another present? I think it should be it. time to grab something from underneath the tree. Let's have a look here. So we've got a couple of gifts hanging around underneath here, but I think I'll grab this one. And then we'll let you open it here. There we are. Okay, thank you. No problem. Slides. Oh, some more codes. So some more Ooh. rewards for people patient enough <laughs> to spend Friday with us. So maybe you start with the first pair of codes sure. and then we go. we'll take turns. So this one is for ETS2 Beyond the Baltic Sea. So if you're ready, if you're a quick typer, here we go. Here's the first code here. Coming up on the screen now. So if you're quick into the add a product on Steam, you'll be the lucky owner of this fantastic DLC. We'll keep up here for a few more seconds. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that people almost would have got it by now for sure. And we'll give it a switch around in three, two, one. And here is one for American Truck Simulator Special Transport. So speaking of those cargoes and those large cargoes, if you think you're a skilled driver, then you should definitely take on these loads onto the roads. Okay, I think those ones are done. Okay, there's Maybe some more. Ones. So my turn now. Go for it. Okay. So here's one for another one for American Truck Special Transport, the the new DLC released just a couple of weeks ago or a month or two ago, for American Truck with some of the more difficult routes and transports. Okay. So if people can read this, <laughs> the first lucky person to type it in is going to grab the DLC. Now on the other side of this paper we have. Beyond the Baltic Sea DLC activation code for Steam. Of course, these are one use only. Once they are entered successfully by the first person, another attempt will just give people an error of some sort that, sorry, this code has already been used. Yeah, absolutely. So gotta be quick. this is not for anybody. It's just <laughs> one for one lucky guy or girl. Okay, and actually, there's more. Is there one so more? Your turn now. Okay. Okay. We'll take it over here. And this one, I think, last one here on the piece of paper. This is your chance now for another one for American Truck Simulator, the special transport. Here we go. There we have it. So if you've got some quick fingers on that keyboard, get typing. You could be the owner of this lucky transport DLC. You'll be hauling around America. There we have it. Okay. We'll put that one down. We've got still a few more gifts under the tree, it seems, maybe to get to, but we'll answer a couple more questions coming in from the Twitch chat. Um, one coming in from Forerunner, very good friend. Hello, Forerunner, hope you're doing well. Um, saying, will you ever add the SES show trailer into the game? Very interesting. Well, that's a good tip. We, I think we should consider it, really, because people have started to associate ourselves with the truck, and we, of course, hope that it's got some seasons 
in it for, for more trips to, to reach our players across Europe because we don't dare to transport it over to over the ocean <laughs> to the US, <laughs> but we can reach a lot of places in Europe if we dare to. So yeah, we, we probably will look into it on in, in, in some basis. Oh, oh what's uh, this? somebody ordered a pizza. A pizza? Yeah. What kind of pizza is it? A habanero pizza. A habanero pizza. Hmm, I, I mean, we just cooked our marshmallows and we have those to eat, so I don't think we'll have uh, it now, will we? I think we will need to leave that for later. I think it's some kind of typical pizza, but yeah. Okay. But uh, pizza. let's leave it for later because now we are very busy with you know yeah. just other things, eating the other stuff. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> spicy though, smells spicy. Hmm. There we go. Very interesting. Wonder who could have ordered that. Um, another question coming in from I'm not gonna not sure how to pronounce your name, but it's Six uh, Jasa saying, "Will the winners of the video? Uh, when will the winners of the video contest be announced?" So that's in reference to our Beyond the Baltic Sea video contest. I know that the rules are out there mm -hmm. in clear language, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I don't even uh, recall the actual date. I, I think it's early next year. I think it, it might be on the 31st of December. I think it's the end of this end month. End of the year. I think. Uh, maybe it may be just, just the end of the year. Yep. So, but people should, rather than depending on us telling them, <laughs> people should look at the rules of the content as they were contest as they were uh, laid out on on the blog. Mm -hmm. If you just go to the blog, you will see a lot of lot of posts there over the year. So one of the recent blog posts was uh, uh, covering the rules of the content contest, and for sure the the deadline is there. All right, wonderful. Yeah, and I think for those who want a little quick recap of that, but all the full details, as we said, is on blog.scssoft.com. Uh, the video contest. Basically, we're asking you to make a little showcase trailer of Beyond the Baltic Sea. I think it has to last between 60 and 90 seconds. It has to be uploaded to YouTube and sent to our email, which you can find all the details there again. Uh, but basically, you can create in any way you want. You know, get your creative minds thinking, get your, you know, your budding film like eyes out and get filming, uh, showing off the beautiful landmarks and landscape of Beyond the Baltic Sea. And the best ones that get sent in and submitted, not only will we feature, but you'll also be walking away with 100 euros to spend on our SES software eShop, as yeah, you've seen all the That's the, the items that we've already been showing, like you can order hoodies, t-shirts, yeah, the mug, the mug. So we have a couple of different designs. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's going to make you rich, but it's <laughs> make, going to make you stocked up on cool SES soft merchandise. Absolutely, and there's a lot of cool ones out reward. there. So if you think you can take on that challenge and you're like, yeah, I think I can do this and show off what a beautiful place to be on the Baltic Sea is for your truck simulator too, then get filming. You can submit it by the end of the year. And who knows, luckily you might, you might be one of the lucky winners going away with 100 euros to spend in our eShop with shipping also covered as well, which I think is an absolutely fantastic prize. Um, another question coming in from now from Michael Tulas saying, is there any plans for tuning packs releasing in 2019? As far as I know, we do have a tuning pack or two in development mm -hmm. or in uh, under construction so i don't know what the plan is timing wise when when it's going to be finished but i know that this is something that uh the the junior people on the vehicle team are usually dealing with this is like the uh very uh, in, uh a lot of hard work involved but it's like the individual pieces are not that complex to create it's mostly about the research and getting the license and everything covered of course and of course, the senior people are focusing on the big stuff like the tractors, like the trailers. So, so we need to get uh, all kinds of like the spectrum of products that we need to, or uh, models that we need to create should cover all, all the various sizes of, th of things from small tuning elements all the way to the, to the big vehicles. So we do have something in development for sure. Okay, and continuing on the, the, the subject of trailers, uh, we also have someone else asking, in 2019, with, uh, will all the paint DLCs be updated so that the same paint that the truck carries can also be used on our own trailers that you can now own in the game? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a challenge because there's a lot of designs that we would have to uh, like evolve or, or uh, extend to, to cover the trailers as well. We'll do a little here and there just, just to you know, continue the start the trend, but we have not committed to to you know expand everything. Uh, it's it's it will be too much data to to create, and we think our you know our focus should be more on the cool new features, 
than just on creating tons and tons of textures. So, so we'll be doing a little bit here and there, but not the whole you know catalog, not the whole spectrum of, of, of paint jobs. All right, wonderful. No, thank you for that. So, I think we should open up another present. Yeah, I think that's we right. should do it. Let's do it. We're going to open up. Ooh, what do we have here? We have. Do you see any more new presents on there? I think we just got a couple left. It seems underneath the tree. So, we'll head over with this one. I'll let you open that because you have the, the knife over there. Okay, well, I may need it. Nice. We'll have a look what's inside this one. It's a little heavier. Hmm. Oh, I think another reminder of the issue. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Feels like the. Okay, if I can find a way to inside. Okay, so another, <laughs> another <laughs> reminder of the cool stuff that people can possibly order or even win through the video contest from the eShop. There you go. A cool mug with American Truck Simulator motif logo. So really, uh, we have a lot of stuff on offer. So long <laughs> as people want to take their uh, passion for the game into physical realm and have some cool merchandise, here we are. There we are. Okay, and then, should we open up the last one now or should we leave it for a little bit? What do you think? Uh, maybe let's leave it for a little bit more. And let's leave it for a little bit more. So we've got the last gift there. We're going to answer a couple more of your questions or a few more of your questions and then we'll get that one open and see what that holds. Um, so we have a question uh, coming in from uh, Dopez asking, can we expect to see dynamic mud flaps? I imagine he's talking about obviously with the rain and the mud and, and getting dirty or, or whatever. Well. No promises, no commitments, <laughs> but <laughs> I feel like I repeat it again and again as a disclaimer. Uh, of course, we will always be looking into improving the fidelity of the simulation and these physical forces affecting the, the various elements of the vehicle, of the truck and trailer combination, will be explored and looked into over time. We did some very good job, I think, with the, with the cables connecting the truck and trailer uh, recently. We'll be looking into covering more so that the vehicle feels more believable there are these little elements actually make up the whole experience uh, as you perceive it. So the, the physics team will definitely look into it uh, over time. And if they feel that they can manage the change, they will, they will do the coding. And then they have to bother the, the vehicle team <laughs> to actually go to, to the, and revisit all the models and see how to unhinge all these little elements. So as, as we did with the tuning elements, replacing the stuff that initially was baked into the model, this is another such opportunity, opportunity that we'll explore over time. But I wouldn't make any commitments yet. All right, all right. And uh, I'm Dane asking, can you guys add a little Christmas tree to put on the dashboard? I'm guessing he's been in very festive with all the different things that we have around here and our wonderful festive uh, uh, I trees. believe we have something in place already for your truck simulator where we have uh, like more spots for, for tuning of the, of the inside of the vehicle, for the inside of the cabin. For some reason, and I believe we were kind of scared by some voices from the community that in the US, usually the troopers or the, or the police enforcement mm -hmm. uh, on the, on the roads are way stricter about people messing up their truck cabins. So okay. we, we dare to do some hanging stuff, but so far we didn't dare to create too or any uh, stuff that you could put on the dashboard or around you, fearing that people may accuse us of doing something that's borderline illegal or truly illegal. So we need to look into it some more. We need to get more references for if we can really dare for creation of stuff that people should decorate the cabin with. So I'm, I think uh, as far as where we are now, we cannot do that for America, American Truck Simulator because we didn't put any any of these little connecting spots on the mm. vehicle for, for the decorations. But this is something that we'll be looking into for, for the next year or for the next season if we should dare and, and do it so long as people can explain to the Mr. Policeman that it's okay. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm sure he wouldn't mind getting a little bit festive at Christmas time, it wouldn't be too bad of a thing. And uh, Saint Ranger, or Sergeant Ranger asking, can you add manual truck maintenance, such as flat tires, oil fluids, etc." One more element of the possible, um, another pillar of the gameplay we may explore is, is these 
dynamic things related to the vehicle. Well, first of all, and that's not just our game, that's typically any game out there for re related to officially licensed vehicles. There are some stuff, there's some stuff that you want to avoid because the manufacturers never want to, are, are very careful not to display their vehicle in a situation that's not um, uh, positive. And things like uh, random damage or mm. things like uh, stuff that's been happening, not because of players error of some sort, like a driving error, but that's just happening through wear and tear, uh, maybe it's seen as something sensitive. But we are looking into it because now that we have, now, a couple of years ago already, we have introduced uh, uh, tires that you can switch and, and separate it, the original single piece wheel into these four parts. So once we introduced this, we were thinking, should we explore some more? Should we go deeper with the simulation? and to create situations where people sh would have to replace the tires with some visible damage or with some flat tires, stuff like that. So it's on the wish list. It's somewhere in the kind of book of, of stuff that we should look into. But uh, as far as I know, we are not now currently push pushing into this direction. Okay, okay, interesting stuff. Um, Trencher1 asking, is there going to be steerable axle trailers made for American Truck Simulator? I wish I knew. I'm, I'm not an expert on American trucks. <laughs> uh, I know that uh, there is a very different sets of rules uh, governing the design of, of the big trailers for, uh, and they are quite different for American uh, continent or states, different states, uh, and they are very different for various regions of Europe. In Europe, things tend to get shorter because most of the focus of the of the regulation is on making the vehicles safer when it comes to their overall length. In the US, at the, at the, at the other hand, uh, there's big focus on what they call, I think, bridge formula, mm -hmm. where the distances, uh, distances of the different, different axles and uh, the in weight, individual weight on each of them should be in some balance so that they can make it safely across a bridge. So in the US, they employ quite different kind of modules in building the long, uh, uh, s long system. Uh, I wish I remember the the names <laughs> like like booster or some stuff like that. That each are sort of making when you make a turf, uh, make a curve, and when you make a turn, they follow the the previous element in the in the caterpillar. <laughs> uh, but but uh, I would I would really have to employ one of some of the vehicle team here to tell us more about what the plans are or what the technical even of limitations are that we should follow the guidelines that we should follow so i will leave it to the vehicle team to okay. to answer it some later uh, stream or some later discussion definitely one to answer for the future then for some further streams and we'll take one last question here before i open up that last present i think coming from stevie p asking can you add police um sorry can you add the police to do stuff to you so you can get pulled over etc like that maybe for speeding or, or whatever it might be well, our, I admit that our implementation of police is rather simplistic, that we don't do that much stuff. We didn't want to go into too much scripted detail there because a scripted situation may look cool once or twice, mm -hmm. but you get tired of it very soon. So we want it to be sort of minimalistic. But of course, just as the push for more fidelity or more simulation is on every aspect of the game, there will come a time when we will have to revisit uh, emergency vehicles and police spe specifically. So we are thinking of how to actually make some choices for the player because right now the player is actually very safe. He's never uh, overweight by design. He never gets a cargo that he shouldn't be able to deliver. But in, in the future, if there is more choice for cargo, there is more choice for the routes available and some of the routes may not be okay for the particular cargo. So at that point in time, police may actually start to play a role, not just for uh, checking if you're speeding or if you are uh, late or if you are if you slept correctly according to regulations. Uh, but this is something that again we'll explore in the future, not not immediately. Okay, so again, lots to look forward to in the future. Then, right, shall we get this last present open? I think it's time. Let's do it. We'll grab it open, and I'll let you do the honors here. There we go. We'll pass it over okay. to you. Thank you. No problem. Let's see what's inside. Oh, I, I think I've heard about it before. So this is a set of hint 
postcards. Oh, so we got postcards from somebody. Okay, a lot Ooh. of them. A bunch of them. So this is going to start the speculations running, of course. Okay. For sure. So I believe these should somehow hint and <coughs> at places that we may consider soon. But there will be also some red herring, some really false clues <laughs> that people should not read much into. Like, I would really dare to say right straight that this is probably a red planet. It's very, <laughs> very far from, from our current ambitions. Maybe one day, you know, Elon is, wants to be yeah, there. Absolutely. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can take a One day there. there will be trucks on Mars. Galaxy far, far but, away. But DLC, for yeah. now, for now, I think... We can rule this one out, but let's see what, what the next cards show and let's see if people will form some valid theories based on them. So, okay, this one goes down. Okay. Ooh, so I this? have no idea what's this. Hmm. Looks like Sandy. Some sand. Is it a real hint or is it is it just there for confusing people? Interesting. Okay. Okay. I think this must be some famous rock formation. Yeah, I think I've seen that somewhere before, but I'm not too sure where. Okay, so hmm. really, is it a hint or is it a real clue or is it not a real clue? We'll see. Hmm. So I see some, I don't know if the camera can really see this clearly. I don't even know which camera is, <laughs> is taking <laughs> I this. I imagine it is this one here. Hopefully this one. Okay, is there hmm. anything like a clue? Yeah, it looks beautiful though. Have you ever parked your truck there? So there's even some some hints that I should somehow decipher, but I have no idea. Wow, okay. <laughs> so maybe some invest investigative minds will figure out whether this is a clue that has a chance to, to turn into an actual content in the game or not. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that looks like an interesting word. Okay, what does it say? You can burn your steering wheel. Yeah, well, <laughs> it seems like a lot it. of steering wheel operations. But I, I have no idea where it is or if it's really hmm. a real clue. Okay, one more historical castle kind of building. Yeah, beautiful. Nice castle, right, yeah, of course it is. A very nice is castle. Is it a real hint or is it just there to mix it up? And a bunch of US presidents. There you go. So if people know the names, Maybe they will figure out if it's a real clue for the future content or not. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Those are some interesting postcards. Hmm. Yeah. Something to think about then, for sure. Oh, there you go. Okay, so these were some hints and clues yes. to decipher. As we said, we have the ambition to speed up the process of creation of both the world as well as the vehicles. It's an ambition. We are in a growth stage, have been for a couple of years. It always feels like the more growth we go through, the, the, the harder it is for the seniors to just produce new content when in the middle of all this schooling and, and teaching people to do stuff. But we have some really great talented people on the team now. So we have high hopes that people will see more from us all through right. the next year. Wonderful. And I think we're going to take just one last question here on the screen coming in from Storm517 asking, is there going to be a paint job slash skin editor in game where you can make a design in game, make logos and upload logos and so on to your own trailer? I imagine that would be. Uh, that's an interesting uh, tip. Uh, I'm not sure what the programming team has actually in that regard. I know it's been discussed repeatedly that we may be able to de dedicate a programming capacity to creation of uh, like a procedural editor that will be able to uh, project different mm -hmm. kind of basic elements to combine the ultimate paint jobs. Uh, it's on the wish list, <laughs> just as many things. Uh, but I'm not aware of, of any actual uh, like production happening on this feature. Okay. It's something, it's a good tip. If people are bringing these tips and kind of uh, again and again, <laughs> well, we tend to listen to the voice of the community. It may, ta may, may take us a while, but we tend to listen really, we do listen. So keep them coming. Wonderful. Well. I think that's all we have time for here. I think we've opened up all the gifts. Underneath the Christmas tree is empty. And well, we've seen a lot of things happening today. We've had lots of 
different gifts come along, a few hints, you know. We've discussed a lot of things about the World of Trucks Christmas and all the, the different events that are happening. And of course, if you want to stay up to those, uh, up to date with those, sorry, then you can go onto our, our blog, which you can find at blog.scssoftware.com. Um, you can also go to our eShop as well and check out the great merchandise there, as well as our social medias and our Twitter as well. And I think it's been an absolutely wonderful year here at SES Software. I think there's been so much that's happened this year. Yeah, well, it, it's been a good year. It's still, I always remind ourselves and remind people and when we cover the history of the, uh, of the company that we are still just starting. We are just still gearing up for the, for the great stuff. Hopefully that, that's my point of view. That's my perspective. Uh, just as with production of content, the, the game DLC and, and the core game and the features, we'll also want to improve our ways of interacting with the community. These streams now are just a, just a sampling of things to come. <laughs> we are still learning the trade. We are still uh, getting the gear in, in place. We are still trying to see what the format should be. We have an ambition to do more streams that are actually not just goofing around, that are actually showing people new stuff, that are actually talking in depth about behind the scenes things. So the team here is now uh, preparing a plan for the new season to, to do streams more on a more regular regular basis so that you know you, you see you the players have a chance to actually see what we are working on not just through screenshots or you know, like scripted videos but through actually interacting with the developers and developers actually playing the stuff that's under development so that's the vision that we want to pursue eventually but we are really happy for this beautiful scene, for this it's festive season kind of situation that we created. Also, I think we shouldn't forget uh, advertising uh, that in, the, in between uh, the Christmas and the New Year, uh, a hardcore team here is thinking about doing another stream, showing some more stuff. So keep your eyes on our social media. If we do manage to get things up and running here in the middle of of the vacations, you may be uh, in for another stream that we can still create by before the end of the year. But uh, we'll see how, how if they even can find the key to unlock the door. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. No, it's been wonderful being in here. It's very festive. We've still got the fire going here. And I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic rest of the evening. And I'm sure that everyone out there is going to have an absolutely wonderful Christmas. Yeah. And I think we, we want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year for sure from Happy all of New us Happy New Year here. to everybody. It's going to be a great year for all of us, I'm sure. Absolutely. Very, and very excited. thanks for your support, guys and girls. We really are so, you know, blessed by your support that we just want to make sure that we'll keep on making you happy so that it works both ways. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. So thank you again for joining us for today's stream. I'm sure you've got a lot out of it, maybe some hints and little teasers there, but we hope you have a wonderful rest of your festive holidays. Don't forget, you can go check out our Steam store with all the Steam sales happening. We have the Steam Awards happening. We have the wonderful World of Trucks Christmas event happening where you can help the North Pole haul Christmas cargoes as well as our Beyond the Baltic video contest. But I think that's all from us here. That's all we have to say for now. Okay. So have yourselves a wonderful Merry Christmas. Again, a massive thank you to the guys behind the scene that you can't see. Um, they've all worked very, very hard on the stream, as well as our Stig racing driver today, Mr. Chenda, who's been driving very throughout the stream here for us. So again, have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you again either very, very soon or into the new year. Yeah. Yeah, that would be it. Thank you very much, everyone. Goodbye. Have, have a, a great day. One. Have a great evening. Have a great <laughs> night, wherever you are. <laughs> See you next year. Have a
everybody. Happy Thursday. And even more exciting is we're just feeling real festive. We're feeling real jolly.